and the, the small signs multiple in one hadith amazing hadith a stranger comes into the gathering of the Rasul Rajulun shadidu bayad al-thiyab shadidu sawad al-shaar lam yura alayhi athar al-safar wa lam ya'rifhu minna ahad a man exclusively white dark hair no spot or sign of fatigue and travel none of us know him mysterious man he has come into the gathering of the rasul and he sits with his knees touching the knees of the prophet and then he says ya muhammad sallallahu ala muhammad akhbirni anil islam tell me about islam so the prophet answered and when the prophet finished the man said sadaqt you spoke the truth so the Ashab says, we're astonished. He asks and confirms as though he knows the answer. So why are you asking? And then he says, anil iman. Tell me, O Muhammad, about Iman, the Rasul explained. And he says, Sadaqt, true. So then he said, anil ihsan. Tell me about Ihsan. The Prophet explained. The man said, correct. And then he asks, Tell me, O Muhammad, about the hour. So he said, The one you're asking doesn't know more than the one who was asking. The asked doesn't know more than the one asking. So then he says, Tell me it signs. So he says, and listen, listen, listen to the one who doesn't speak of his own desires. When a lady gives birth to her master, when a female servant gives birth to her master, and you want to see your masters today, look at your children. You live for them. Mobile phone, mom, hadir. This, ala ra'si wa aini. And you do something wrong, khalas, not speaking to you for today, mom. Amat u rabbataha. You have given birth to your masters. The Prophet said it for, it was unheard of then. They lived in servitude of their parents. And then the second sign in Subhan al Khaliq. When you see the barely clothed, like they don't have good clothing, not adequate clothing, barefooted, destitute, shepherds and goat herders competing in the heights of buildings. So I researched who is competing in the heights of buildings, Subhan al Khaliq. The tallest building on earth today, where is it? Dubai. I watched the footage of Sheikh Zaid. You know, ordinary simple clothing, he's wrestling with one of his workers. An ordinary shepherd, the oil camp, Pujur, skyrocketed. And now the tallest building on earth is in their country. When the barefooted destitute will compete in the heights of buildings. So I said, maybe coincidence. A few years before that, the, twin the, uh, the clock tower of Mecca. And now the Saudis have thought, bless their hearts, how can they beat us? Let's make another one. The next building started yesterday. One kilometer in the air. Sadaq al sadiq his word is the sign. Who would have thought at the time where they used to build with pebbles houses that barely had roofs that they would compete in skyscrapers?